it's your boy AC boy back with another video what's up what's good how y'all doing today guys okay so today is another topic video hold on okay someone's over there all right anyways guys okay anyways I don't know what that was okay guys so what I wanted to talk to you guys about is okay so I already talked about this already kind of on my TikTok and my Instagram and I put it I already put like a little one up on my YouTube channel yesterday it didn't get a lot of views but I don't care guys we're still dealing with protesting that are doing amazing jobs guys who cares like it's doing awesome jobs and I'm still I'm still supporting it I'm still in the movement I'm still a part of it I actually actually thought about protesting yesterday in Orlando Florida but I still just don't after what I've been through already guys with that whole situation, I will tell you guys that in a different story later. Um, if we can get this video to 1K, I will share. Like, if we can get some of my video, guys, like, we have four of my videos that are, like, at ones that the highest video I have is, like, at 4K. And then it goes on and on and on and on. I think it's my big fat, why am I fat? Oh, my God, I'm fat. That's, like, at 4K. Then after that, it's my first time, or no, my house tutorial is at 2K. And then my first time ordering Postmates is at 1k or 3k or whatever so those are like my highest videos you would think my surgery videos would be really good because I was like I don't know if I'm the first youtuber to do it that's overweight but you would think that those would be in the 5ks or the 6ks or the whatever maybe even a million but it is what it is I'm not going to stress about it but that's besides the point that's not what I came on here for today okay so what I came on here for today guys is I'm begging you guys from the bottom of my heart if you guys want to make a difference and you guys love me reesey boy 30 and you guys support me go to the polls this november and vote 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 okay if you guys can't get out and protest if you guys can't go out and do stuff now if you can't vote because you're too young then ask your parents to vote for you i mean if your parents are on the opposite side and you don't agree with that side then that's fine wait until you get to a certain age where you can vote and hopefully by then there would be changes that have been made but maybe not maybe we're still dealing with this whole movement still and i know we will be because we've been dealing with this movement before i was even born this movement has been going on to prove that black lives matter and to make a difference do you see in washington dc i think the street the street is this color they painted the, sh the on the whole street in washington dc they put painted Black Lives Matter all the way down. I forget what main street it is. That to me is amazing. Like if I had power, I would do that. I would paint it on my house. I would get the tattoo all down my arm. Like there's stuff that I believe in and I've never seen a movement and it's all cultures. It's not just black cultures. It's white people coming together with black people. They're showing the, the, the bond that people have, the marriages, the children, the best friends, the whatever it is and their best friends are a white person their best friends a black person they're showing that the diversity has came together from when it used to be apart but the people that are higher up than us don't understand that and have not came together yet to fix things because if you look at a lot of the people higher than us there's a lot of racial profiling there there's a lot of people who don't get jobs because of the color of their skin they don't they can't have nice cars they can't have nice houses because it's like oh how did you get that house oh how you get that card we get pulled over for no reason because of the color of our skin and it's not right it needs to stop that's why i'm so big about hashtag black lives matter and that's why i'm trying to use my platform i know some people are like oh why are you doing this you're just trying to get big and famous blah 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 blah, blah. but what i say to those people is Bo okay bye like i really don't care what you have to say and i remember like there's like certain youtubers that there's certain tiktokers that have not used their platforms yet because maybe they're not educated enough and so they want to educate themselves like young hottie i think or young hottie or whatever his name is chase hudson or whatever his name is people were like coming down on him people were coming down on like jake paul now what jake paul did was completely wrong it was completely wrong he should have not been where he was i'm not going to talk about it because i don't want to get pulled into that i don't want people to be like oh i'm hating on jake paul but you guys have to understand his audience are mostly kids and for you to go prove and show something just for footage 
it's like stupid. Like you're not gonna see me going to a riot and going somewhere just to get footage for YouTube. Like I could care less. Like, like I always say, my channel might be always small, that's fine. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing and I'm having fun with it and I'm not going to, one, put myself in danger, two, put other people in danger, three, try to, um, three, try to justify what I did later with coming down with a sit down message and try to D, D, whatever you want to call it. And then try to be like, oh, well, this is what happened and you don't know the true facts. The Paul brothers are always in controversy. They're always doing something. They're always on TMZ. They're always on the news, no matter what it is. And, but they're following me. They're the biggest YouTubers and I'm not hating on them again. I'm not hating on them. I'm actually was a fan of theirs. It's just people need to use their platform for good. And actually, Logan did something on his podcast that was amazing that went viral and then he was out there protesting and talking about how black lives matter and how everyone needs to stop this whole racial profiling and all this different stuff even though in his group of friends you don't really see a lot of black people but that's fine that's different you know everybody's friends with who they want to be friends with um you know, and then people were trying to say I was racist because I don't have a lot of black friends. It has nothing to do with me being racist. It just has to do with me being accepted. People want to say that I'm white because the way that I talk and the way that I act, people say that I'm white. I can't fit into the black community. I've been in the black community before and people are like, oh, you're a white person stuck in a black person's body because you grew up in the suburbs or because you didn't grow up in the hood or because you didn't have a hard life. Um, excuse me, even people who grew up in the suburbs, even people who have grown up being rich and famous have hard lives. There's stuff that they deal with differently than someone from the hood or someone from the poor side, someone from a trailer park or whatever. Yes, maybe those lives of their family is more connected and the family is more loving because they're always with each other. My situation was different. I, yes, I grew up in the suburbs. Yes, I grew up whatever you want to call it. But at the same time, that's because of my dad. That's not because of me. If I was completely on my own, I would not live in the suburbs. I wouldn't have money to live in the suburbs. So I hate when people, and for years, I've had this happen to me. I used to have friends drop me off, come to my house. Oh, y'all got money. Y'all got money. This is a rich neighborhood. I'm like, why do y'all keep saying you all? It's my parents, okay? It's not me. I don't have money like that. Believe me, if I had money, I would give back. I would be giving my money away more than me keeping it. Because to me, money is just paper. It's just paper that can be burned or shredded or torn. I don't care about money. Like that's my biggest thing. Like people think that, oh, he's so greedy. No, I'm not greedy. If I have it, I will give it to people. You can ask people who truly, truly know me. I'm more giving than I am taking. When I'm in a relationship with someone, if it's a friendship, a family member, or a girlfriend, I'm 100% in to the point where it can make me li literally sick. I've ended up in the hospital before from panic attacks and from exhaustion because I was too involved in this relationship. I had a friendship with somebody that just drained me. But at the same time, like I'm saying, like I'm saying, don't, like I'm saying, don't title people if you don't know their whole story because I hated when people would be like, oh, you're rich, so you have to have money, so you can do this, you can do that. I've had people try to rob me before. I've had people try to steal stuff from me. I've had people try to steal my credit card information just because they thought that I had money. I've had people said, oh, well, all you gotta do is do this and he'll give you money. No, no. I just, I don't like that. And so that's my, the biggest topic for today is that people need to use their platform for good, not for bad, not for evil, not for, not for whatever will bring them the money, not for whatever brings them the dollars. Like a lot of people who I used to look up to, who I wanted to be like, who I wanted to be a part of their movement have like disappointed me. Like I'm really like, am I a Jake Pauler anymore? Do I like, you know, like I'm not anymore. Like I honestly can say I'm not. And like, honestly, I know people are like, oh, well be careful what you say because when you meet these people and they get close to you and then they go back and they look at, and you're and they say you're fake. I don't care. He can come back and look at this all he wants. 100% I have a right to say, I'm older than you and I'm telling you what how I feel. And I'm trying to educate you later if life, if I do meet him, that I would be like, this is where you messed up. This is where your decisions were stupid. And this is where you were all about the fame and all about the money and letting your head put you in a situation that could have been dangerous, could have been bad, stuff could have happened. But, you know, that's besides the point. I'm gonna use my platform for good. If you look at the title of my YouTube, it says I'm here to make people happy on my TikTok and my YouTube channel and even my Instagram, I think. 
that's my goal and that's what I'm gonna do. If you love me or hate me, that's fine. If you don't wanna be a part of me, then leave. Like I'm not, I'm not keeping you guys here. It's not your choice. I see that I'm not a fun count. I see that people don't like my YouTube channel. I see that my watch time is low. I see that I'm wanting too much and it's only been two years. Most people, it takes them five years or however long it takes them to get big enough. Um, I'm bigger in other countries and that's fine, but it's like, I'm still gonna use my platform for good. I'm still gonna use it to help people. I'm still going to try to change people's opinions and try to better the world and make a difference. Like I said, I told you guys from day one, if I ever get to the point where I'm big enough that I have a platform, I'm using it for good. I'm helping domestic violence. I'm helping sexual harassment. I'm talk I'm dealing with, with um, child abuse. I'm dealing with children that are homeless and hungry. I'm dealing with, I'm gonna deal with a lot of stuff. Drug addiction, alcohol addiction, addiction to anything, food addiction. Like my channel is gonna be used for good. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about is, there are some YouTube channels, okay? There are some YouTube channels. Guys, I'm just talking, but listen to me, listen to me, please. Out of all my videos, listen to this one. Guys, there are some channels that love to attack fat people or anybody really, and they make a they make a living off of it. There's certain channels that talk about Amber Lynn. There's people who talk about, um, oh, what's her name? This other this other lady out of Canada, Beauty Beauty Bites. I think her name's Beauty Bites. I think her YouTube channel's Beauty Bites. There are people who talk about Aaron Carter. There's people who talk about um, the Eight Passenger Family. There's people who talk about these different young celebrity people who I just don't get why you have to gossip, even if you don't even have the facts, even if you wanna talk because you think you know everything, but you don't. Let the actual ch channels like E! News, TMZ, Extra, uh, Entertainment Tonight, the people who actually do the work and who have been doing it for 30 to 20 years before any of us even knew about YouTube, let them do the work. Why do you need to go make these action channels and all you're doing is making that person depressed and have anxiety and be scared to do anything? Amber Lane has been gone for so many years, just came back, announced that that's happening here and people are still hating on her because people think she's lying about it. I don't think she's lying about it, okay? And Beauty Bites, she gets hate even though, yeah, her weight goes up and down. Yeah, she goes on different weight journeys. But that's her life, let her live her life. I got hated on in the beginning because people thought I would never lose weight and I would never do anything. And now we're the people that were hating on me. They don't wanna say anything because they know they were wrong. So it's really funny to see how people wanna hate on you, but then when you do the opposite, they don't even wanna come and say anything or acknowledge that they were wrong. You know, I get called gay so much to the point where it makes me sick to my stomach because people think they have a right to just say that they know what I'm attracted to and they know what I want. Have you guys ever seen me post anything that says that I am or says that I'm not? Like, that's none of your guys' business, but I get it so much. And I literally block those people, but you know what? I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm, why do I have to block them? Just stay off my channel. Like, if I was asking you guys to say what you feel about me, but I'm not even big enough, so people won't even put in a question because I'm not a big enough YouTuber. But if I had like a million subscribers and I was like, hey guys, I'm doing a video about hate, hate comments. Put whatever you want in the comment and let me answer them. Okay, then that's different. But me to just get it when I'm just, just a little channel that could and I'm having fun, people are hating on me for it and it's driving me crazy. But if I could leave you guys with something today on Saturday, June, June 6th at 10.29 in the morning, make a difference in this world, change, do something. If you guys love me like you guys say you do and I know you guys do because my channel is growing, even though I feel like it's not growing. But anyways, <laughs> that's besides the point. Make a difference in this world. Get out there and protest. Take pictures, put it on your Instagram, tag me in it, whatever you guys wanna do. Make banners, make posters, make TikToks. Um, go, go help with like, these kids are popping up all these little lemonade stands in their driveways to help people who are marching. Um, make a difference. It doesn't matter, the tiniest little thing. Go help people, make a difference. It doesn't matter, but get the hashtag Black Lives Matter. Put it on all your social media, guys. Tag me in it if you guys do it. If all of you guys tag me in it, I will definitely follow you. Go to Reese and Jama on Instagram and I can follow you guys back on that. Or go to my other account, Boy 30 or go to my TikTok, I am still doing a follow spree, and go to my YouTube and comment Black Lives Matter and I will follow you and subscribe to your channel. 
and I love all you guys. Shout out to all my fans, Noah, Gia, Jada, um, Jama TV, um, Evie, Geo, Butterfly, The Rat, everybody. Shout out to all my fans. I love all you guys. We're a family. We got this together. We consider ourselves Reese Boy fam or Reese fam. And my merch, I'm still waiting on it, guys. Okay, but I love you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, turn on my notification bell. And it's raining, so I'll see y'all tomorrow or later tonight. All right, peace. I stayed up 24 hours. I should have done the 24 hour challenge. I don't know why I wasn't thinking. But I love you guys. Peace.